So let me get started with the uh, CZTS2 entry level. So the entry level comes in this version with the aluminum gray grips, a regular magazine release, however, an extended ambidextrous safety on both sides, fixed rear sight, single action trigger, and extended magwell. All right, so that's the model. Let me show you what it does on the range. All right, so this entry level is an excellent starting pack for IPSC shooter, for beginner shooters, or just target shooting shooters. So make sure you have this one, excellent gun for competition and target shooting. All right, so now let me introduce you to the Racing Green model. The Racing Green model. This one is start to be really interesting because of course we have the aluminum grips on the side in green color, of course, because racing green, but we have the extended mag release already and the safety still remain the same. However, now comes the thumb rest. Thumb rest, excellent tool for uh, recoil control management in order to reduce the flip of your gun while shooting. So potentially you'll shoot slightly faster with better control of your gun. The rear side now becomes adjustable on the height and the single action trigger is now in alloy. So all of that to, to say that the gun already start changing configuration, changing feeling while you shoot. Um, so this one definitely an excellent model for people who are in the level of start shooting competition. They're already a little bit dynamic into it and they're trying to reach a higher level uh, in their result. That's, that's the one to go. Let me show you what it does. All right. So as you can see in the action, the gun is actually already flipping much less into, into the recoil giving me the possibility to shoot slightly faster, engage faster, and still manage to do a, a decent group in my, in my target board. So that's the racing green model. Now let's start talking about the third model, the deep bronze. The deep bronze is actually um, the higher hand model, fully prepared for competition. So let me introduce you to this one. So, the gun comes also steel, magwell, aluminum grips, extended mag release, adjustable rear sight, everything stays the same. Also single action uh, trigger in alloy. However, now the safety gets slightly wider over here and the sum rest is actually angled for dynamic shooting. So a better uh, positioning for the, uh, for the IPSC. And also instead here, we're getting a pin um, in order so for the slide not to lock back uh, in competition. So those are, let's say, the main similar features that we can have on the, and we have on the racing greens. However, in this one, the three main features, we have a fully polished barrel, so for a better adjustment and better cycling of the gun. Uh, we have the brown Seracoat on the frame, which give a, uh, let's say kind of an aggressive uh, outlook from the gun, so which make it uh, very interesting. And the top part of it is this one is fully hand fitted. So the, all the parts are really selected and prepared to make this gun exceptional, all right? So that's the deep bronze model. That's the one for, you know, hand users that really looking for competition, looking, really looking for the top notch quality of the uh, CZTS2, all right? So let me show you what it does on the stage.
All right, I hope you enjoyed the uh, video part on the, uh, on the stage. So as you can see, the, the Deep Bronze is an excellent model for racing for competition, and I really enjoyed it. So let me show you also different configuration that uh, we brought here for the CZTS2. As you can see, uh, we set up different coloring, different triggers, uh, just to make it uh, slightly different. We have that version, for, especially for target shooters, actually very good. Uh, people like no magwell, so we have the longer grips, no magwell. We still keep the extended safety just to make it different. Also, instead of having the uh, optic fiber front sight, we went to a black front sight, which makes it uh, more realistic, especially for target shooter at uh, 25 meters or at 50 meters. Uh, then you can see we made uh, a bronze one with blue grips. Uh, we do the parrot style like uh, we used to do it for the checkmate. Same story, different colors of the grip, different magwell, colors of the trigger. All of that to say that it is important in the store to have spare parts. I'll take an example of myself in my store, in my gun store. Um, my customer comes to, to me to my people, my gunsmiths, because we are able to configure their toy the way they want. All right, guys, so that's, uh, that's it for the presentation of the guns. Now, let me just uh, introduce you a little bit to a practical shooting, and you will have a better understanding why the CZTS2 fits the, the definition of what is shooting with practical shooting and the standard pistol, the CZTS2. Uh, what I'm going to talk to you and, and, and present to you is just the, the moving sections where we have the action. So the first sector, uh, as you know, there is a popper and we, we get the two plates. Basically, what happened here is the popper being activated in one position. I need to move to the next position through the port just before the plates are coming in. And I can break the two plates in two shots, of course, two, three, but at least in the first pass. Then we do all the static targets, the movement, the reloads, and coming towards the um, final part, not exactly final, but just before the final, where we have that butterfly uh, swinger. So basically here, while uh, turning around the corner, making the reload, I need to shoot on the move, the popper, and the first static, because by the time I shoot the popper and the static, I need to cover some time before it gets activated. When the first static is done, I move on to the butterfly and have to catch on the first pass two shots when it's crossing. Then the second swinger is coming for the closing and do another two shots. So that's also time sensitive. So you need to really set your time and make sure you can trust your gun in, in of course, accuracy by definition, but also that the gun won't jam because here it's crucial. If you gun jam, you have no idea which target will become. So you can't have that. And of course, then come to the last sector. The last sector is also a little bit critical because we have a bunch of targets that are uh, just presented. And you can see there is a, a target on the left, the popper target on the right. And the deal here is to shoot the first the target, shoot activation, and before the target disappear, we shoot the two rounds, and then the next one comes up and, and re-engage immediately the new target, finishing the last one. So, also, same story, here the time becomes very sensitive. Make sure that you get your hits right and the, the cadencing is right. Let me show you what it does on the stage now. And you know what? I'm gonna show you that with the entry level model because you might think that the deep bronze is being set for me. Uh-uh, I'll show you what it does. See that two alphas that was from the middle port and now the last section two alphas two alphas two alphas pop it down 
Now let's see this one. This one is was just after the activation. All right. We got two alphas, two alphas. Guys, you know what? The entry level makes the job. Clearly not an issue deep bronze or the entry level. Of course the racing green will match in the between, but as you can see, all these models are fit to work with an IPSC in competition. All right, guys. Well, I hope you really enjoyed that uh, presentation. Um, once again, you've seen that the guns are excellent. No matter which model you go, you've seen that with the entry level, you've seen the race green, and you see the action with the deep bronze. Uh, there is no discussion. CZ on, is on top of the line. The CZ TS2 is definitely a gun for sport shooters or for IPSC shooters in competition or just simply target shooters. This is it. My name is Eric Graffel from the CZ Shooting Team. I hope you had a nice day presenting the CZ TS2.